Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to go through is actually how to train the little arm uh, using the GUI setup on Python right now. So if you look over here, this is the primary code that we're using. We're using GUI record uh, v2. Uh, let me show you the actual GUI itself. Here's our GUI. So right now we have uh, scroll bars that control the angles of the servos on each one of the joints. But then we also have this other bar for speed. And the speed is actually the delay uh, between the servo pulses. So in this case, with this interface, higher numbers are slower because it's a longer delay in between a uh, movement of the servo from one degree to the next, and lower numbers are faster. We also have a pause for time, which is actually a pause for one second right now, and then record position, which writes the, the current position of the arm and all of its joints to uh, the file that we have, and actually it's this one, it's blank right at the moment, but you'll see uh, five uh, digit commands coming in there, well, digit five number commands coming in there. And then we have play sequence where it opens up this file and actually runs them. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. So right now we've got the arm and you'll see as I move the base, the base moves to there, and then the shoulder, and then we've got the elbow, and a gripper, so on and so forth. Now if I increase the speed here, you'll see that there'll be lag in the commands or the arm seems to move really jerkily, really rough. Uh, that's just because it moves the motion and then the GUI itself is allowed to update. So faster delays, smaller delays, make everything run a little bit smoother. But your arm will be really fast when you run the full sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this spoon, pick it up, move it to a place, and then uh, just go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get a baseline position. So this is where we start. Let's record that position. Then we bring the base around to right about there. I'm going to bring the shoulder down a little bit and bring the elbow up some. Shoulder down a little bit further. I'm going to record that position. And then we'll bring the shoulder down the rest of the way. You need to straighten out the base of the skosh. Shoulder down the rest of the way right there. Record that position. And then grip it. Record the grip. And then bring the shoulder up. There we go. Record that. And then we go and bring it over here. Record that. And then we'll drop it with the elbow. Record that position and release that and then we'll bring the base back to center bring the shoulder up a little bit and make sure we're at a right angle and that's where where we will stop okay so now if we go back to the record txt document reload this you can see here's the uh, all of the joint angles and the speeds that we have set for it now we didn't change the speed so because it wasn't a big deal but that's where it is and then you could also insert a pause and you would see the word pause in this command everywhere. Okay, so going back to the GUI now. Uh, where was that? There we go. Let's move the spoon back to where it was here, about where it was, and let's play this. So you just hit play sweet sequence, and now it's going to go through all those motions that we just said. And returns to the position. I didn't have the spoon in quite the right spot. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Nice. Let's try that one more time to make sure it's not a fluke. There we go. Play the sequence here. Motion. So it's really that simple, guys. You just move the parts around using the GUI, and you can do whatever you want, and then you record the waypoints as you go along of where you want it to be and then it smooths out those motions and combines them all and that's pretty much it. Then you've got your robot trained to do something like move sugar around or feed the fish and then if you want to modify the code even further you can add in timers and things and do whatever you want so that you can actually program this robot to be useful or just set up a neat little system. If you had just the Arduinos you could connect them through their digital pins so one Arduino signals the next Arduino and in that way you could build like a little assembly line with these robots so that when one finishes playing with whatever it's doing, it passes it on to the next one, sends a signal to the next Arduino, and then the add arm goes through its sequence. Because once you have 
all of these positions set up, you can copy and paste them into Arduino code and use the servo function that was created a little bit earlier to just have these stored on the Arduino itself as opposed to actually on the computer. But this control and GUI and record is just a lot faster and easier than trying to code in these one number at a time. It's just a lot more fun and a lot quicker. Alrighty, thanks everybody. Hopefully you see how it kind of works now.